Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to today's episode of Game Poke. As you can see, it's a little bit different because it's down here in the game room. I thought today we'd do something that's kind of late, meaning I should have done this already but I ain't, fuck it. Master System. We will go over the Master System collection up there, over there, try and go over it in a bit more detail than having to pass because there's so many fucking games and I've tried squeezing them into collection videos before with everything else, so I've had to rush through them because there's so many of them. But today we'll focus on just that. Also, how a play Master System. I thought that'd be pretty fun. So that's the aim of the game. Without further ado, let's fucking go. So here is the Master System that I actually like to play on the most. Out of all of them, really. And here's a cover. Look at that. That was custom made by someone who had a bit of an attitude, so I'm not going to advertise who it was. LOL. Fuck them. This one is uh, modded, so it plays um, in 60 hertz as well as the 50, making the speed all the better. I love this thing. I mean, the Master System 2 is the one I had as a kid, so that's the one I have the most nostalgia for. But this one plays the best when it comes to wanting to play on a CRT TV. But if you're wondering what I actually use as a controller, it's this here that Tails has got the 8 bit Do M30. 2.4G, which is a terrible name for a controller. It truly is a terrible name, but what a great controller. If you would like to know more about this, there's a video I've done before in great detail on that. There'll be a link above and one in the description below, so you can check that out in further detail. If, like me, you're not a fan of the original Mars System controller, because the D-pad is kind of shit. And here we have the best quality Mars System you can get, even though technically it's not a Mars System, it's a Mega Drive. This thing is the tits. Analogs Mega SG. Made for Mega Drive games, but with the converter that comes with it. Master System. It's a wonderful thing. This is what I use for recording all game footage for the channel. Now, obviously not originally, but any videos you see as of recent, the footage is from that fucking thing. So, yeah. It's wonderful. I highly recommend it. Problem is, they're a bit expensive and analog sucks at keeping stuff in stock. They will... They will run out of this. It'll be gone before you know it. So I can't even get a spare. I gotta make this thing last. Hence why I got it a dust cover as well. I thought, if this thing breaks, I'm gonna be gutted. I'll never get a mask system made as well as this thing. So there you have it. You've seen the console I like to play on. You see the one I like to use for um, actual video stuff. But I've recently added a new feature to this gaming structure here, which in case anyone wanted to know, yeah, everything works, everything's plugged in, it's all just a case of flipping a few switches at the back, which isn't very exciting, so I shan't show you, but I've got a new feature with this. Give me a second while I turn off the lights. Are we ready? Look at that. Fucking brilliant. Different colours as well. Found this uh, in case anyone in the UK wants to know. An Asda. <laughs> Just dumb as anything. There's red. There's a ton of colours. There's also, there we go. I got it to work. Look at that multicolour flashing around like mad. That might look crap on the video. I don't know. But I, I think it's fucking awesome. All these modern gamers have this cool shit. And um, I haven't until now. I'm finally up to date. I'm finally modern and it's only taken forever. Right and here we have the actual games at least from A through to part of G. This really sucks for me. Whenever I get a new game I have to move all the games along then over there and move them all along. The new game that I've recently got is eSWAT meaning E meaning I gotta move 90% of the cunts just so that this one fits in. That's not happening right now. I haven't played eSWAT, so I can't comment on it. But let's get through some of these. So we got first one. <laughs> the first one is Ace of Aces, which is um, it's not good. In fact, it's known to be one of the worst ones on the system. It's also one of the dustiest. Can you blame me? It's shit. I don't want to play it. I once commented on it in a video on... Uh, the Barton Bashers channel, if I can find it, I will put a link there so that you can check that out if you want to. Right next to that, we've got Action Fighter. That's another game that I think sucks. After that, we've got Aerial Assault, and you know what? 
I can't remember Aerial Assault that well. I don't think I played this one for very long. I can't comment. It could be good, and it could be that I'm just crap at it. But if you would like another game that's crap, because this is looking good so far, isn't it? I'm going through crap games first, and a lot of dust. I apologise. Afterburner. You you don't want to you don't know you don't want to play Master someone. You don't. Air Rescue. What can I tell you about Air Rescue? It's a bit like Choplifter, but about a thousand times more bullshit. After that, we've got Alf. After that, we got Alex Kidd in High Tech World. This one's weird. You can get lost in this. It's not your typical platformer. It's not your typical anything. It's kind of RPG-ish, but also kind of click adventure shit. It's weird. It's not bad. It's if you want to try something very different, that's the thing to go for. If you want to try something very bad, because we seem to be covering a lot of bad at the moment, we got Lost Stars, which is... It's not, it's not brilliant. By the way, I'll put these in properly later. I don't give a fuck right now. Alex Kidd in Miracle World. The first video game of any kind, the first video game I ever played. And it's legendary. For, I think it was my two year anniversary on YouTube, I tried to complete it because for some reason I've gone so far through life without completing it. And I managed to do it on camera. It was a bit of luck, wasn't it? Fucking was and all. After that, we've got Alex Kidd in Shinobi World. This is probably the... Second best Alex Kidd game out there. Well worth trying. This next one is Aladdin. Right? You know how everyone fights over and I just super Nintendo one's better. No, it's not. The Mega Drive one's better. You're all fucking wrong. The last system one is the best. It's probably also the easiest, but it's fun as fuck, so it doesn't matter. Alien 3. It's not good on anything. It's just not. Alien Storm. It's pretty good. Pretty good. If you didn't know there's a Master System version, there is. And it's pretty good. And that's all I've got to say about that. So then we've got Alien Syndra. It's, it's just a rip-off of Aliens, the film. I mean, uh, it's, it's all right. By the way, I should apologise for the lighting today. Normally I have better lighting with more lights. Uh, they've packed up. They've given in. So that's awesome. And this is my only window of opportunity to do this. So we're recording with one light today. That's why the light is just coming from there as opposed to other places. So, yeah. Waffling, I know, I'm good at that. Altered Beast is dog shit on the mask system. So we're getting all the bad ones out of the way. American Baseball. You know what? I like baseball. And if I'm thinking of the right game here, I might get this model up with another baseball one. But I think on this one, you can set up a match and just have it to watch. I don't know why you'd want that either. Maybe if you own a pub or a bar and you just want the game to be running. That's all I can think of. Next to that, we got American Pro Football. It's football, so I've never played it. It's just one of them things. There's going to be a few things where it's in the collection because I need it in the collection because I want to get everything in the collection. But they're shit, so I'm not going to play them. And yes, they're mostly sports ones. Here we have Arcade Smash Hits. This is actually quite fun. You've got, uh, let's see, Missile Command. Very good port of that. We've got... Uh, Centipede, which is a stupidly fast port of that, and you've got old balls. Well, what's it called? <sighs> My neighbor's kids are screaming, so if anyone owns a gun, please come round and shoot them. Anyway! Little cunts. There's a game on here that I've forgotten the true name of it. I want to say it's Arkanoid, but if I'm wrong, it's basically Alleyway on the Game Boy, so there's that. Next to that, we've got two of the Asterix games. They were free on the Master System. One of them's incredibly rare. And I'm not sure, but I think one of these is that rare one. I might be wrong. We've got the typical asterisk, just asterisk. Very fun game. This is the best of the three to get, I believe. As I say, I don't have all three. I've got two of them. Then you've got Secret Mission, which isn't brilliant. It's not shit, but it's not brilliant. Uh, I think that's the super rare one. Uh, then you've got Aztec Adventure. This game is very... What does it remind me of? Star Tropics on the NES. It reminds me of that. It's not like 100% like it, but there's certain elements that remind me of it. So yeah. And then next to that, we got a racing game that I didn't like, so I played it once. Then you've got Basketball Nightmare. All right, sports games. Normally, I avoid them like the fucking plague. This is really fun. It is. It's incredibly fun. You know, like people say dodgeball on the NES. Tons of fun. Master System 1, basically, in order to 
compare it in terms of sheer funness. Also, the animations when uh, they go to do a slam dunk. Fucking Mega Drive quality. Definite Mega Drive quality. Then we got Batman Returns. I love Batman on the NES. I don't like the Batman on the Master System. It's just not as good. Then we got Battle Outrun, which isn't original Outrun, so no one cares. Then you've got Black Belt with some awesome artwork of a foot. Yeah, that's right. That's what I've got to comment about that game. Then we've got Bonanza Bruce. I believe this is one of them games where cobwebs come off of it. That looked professional, didn't it? This should be two-player. I think it's on Mega Drive, and I don't know if that one's two-player, but it should be. This isn't, so that's the comment on that. Next game, this is one of my fave Master System games. It's also my wife's favourite 8-bit game ever. Barber, barber. This is the first game I ever got at a try on Master System. We played it through the end, we completed it, loved it. If we ever find a Bubble Bobble arcade machine, I reckon she would kill people to get it. Now, this is a weird one. I don't own California games, but I do own the rarer California games too. And it's just as bad. So, moving on. Then we got Captain Silver. I, I, I can barely remember playing that one, if I'm honest with you. Then you got Casino Games. Guess what? That's exactly what it is. Then you got a beloved classic by the masses. Mickey Mouse, Castle of Illusion. Sorry, put it the wrong way to light. That's an awesome game. It is an awesome game. Is it better than the Mega Drive one? It's more challenging and it's different. But when I say more challenging, I don't mean it's got bullshit. Would you like to see some bullshit? This has got some bullshit. I paid a lot for this fucking one. Literally like 50 quid for the fucking thing. We'll end it at that before I go on a full-blown rant. Choplifter! Now, I'm a big fan of uh, GameSack, and Joe Redifer says this is one of his favourite games. It is a good game, but it's very hard. So, it, if he can ace that every time, he must be shit hot of the damn thing. Then we got one I can never figure out. Chuck Rock. A lot of people love this game. I don't hate it, I don't like it, I don't anything it, if I'm honest. Now we're finally down onto the next shelf. I'm trying to be thorough and go through the lot here and not take up too much of your time. Sonic, you may fall down when I do this. Uh, no. Chuck Rock 2. This is the harder one to get hold of and it's the better one, in my opinion. So isn't that just a complete pisser? Here's a game you could play right now on your PS4. For digital, for cheap. It's Cloudmaster. It's a shmup, it's tons of fun. I covered it in a Sega Shmups video. If you're a big fan of that, Shmups I mean, go check out that vid. Then we got Columns. It was their answer to Tetris. It's fun. It doesn't look as nice as the Mega Drive one, but I love it. It's basically the Game Gear port. Here's a game that's that's that. It's cool spot. Cool spot. It's. I know a lot of people that grew up with this, which is weird. Because back in the day, I never even heard of it. Then we got my latest Acquirement in Master Systemness, and yes, I've left the sticker on to let me know how much money I wanked away on it. 45 quid on Cosmic Spacehead. It's fun. It's weird, though. Some of it is like a point-and-click adventure thing, kind of like that Alex Kidd game, and then all of a sudden it'd be, boom, normal platformer, but it's the kind where you think, jump on the enemy. No, I'm not going to do that. Got hurt. Fuck. Cyber Shinobi. The funniest thing I can tell you about this is I've got a retro gamer collecting app and on the master system one out of all the games i have it says this is the rarest game i own fucking retard goddamn crap app then we have cyborg hunter this this game's weird right you need two controllers to play it even though it's a one player game there you are there's that this is one of my other recent acquirements it's dracula you know Dracula on the uh, Sega CD forward slash Mega CD is a steaming pile of crap? This isn't! This is actually really good and very fucking different from that other thing. Then we got one of my favourite Master System games. Behold the revelry in the month. <laughs> this thing is the tits! Done a let's play on it. Dragon Crystal. If I can fit a link above or down below, I'll put it there. Something's jingling. Some cunt's trying to get hold of me. Go away, Paul. Go away. I'm not dealing with you right now, Paul. Wow. 
wanker. Hello? 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 Ah. How's you good? You're right. Yeah, no, I'm not too bad. I was just double checking with you at home. In case you're wondering why I answered that, he's bringing me something Sega related and I don't know what. Hopefully he'll appear within the video, ruin my recording and I'll be able to show you. Maybe. Next game is a bad one again. Fuck. Desert Speed Trap. Shit game. Shit game. Rush around like a twat. Die anyway. Yay. But it looks pretty. Then we got Desert Strike. That's right. There's a Master System one. And you know what? It's not too bad. It's not too bad. The only thing that lets it down, Master System controller. It's really, it's quite cunt to operate. Here's a game a lot of people like that I don't. Double Dragon. I don't like this one. I'm, there you are, I'm dead honest with you. Um, one of my favorite YouTubers of the bigger celebrity names is Happy Console Gamer, and he says this is the worst game ever. Dynamite Ducks. He hates this game. It is pretty poor, I'll give you that. Here's a game you wouldn't think would exist. Echo the Dolphin on the Master System. It's not bad, it's not great, but it's not bad. There's also another one on the Master System that's incredibly rare. I believe it's called Tides of Time. Don't own that one, unfortunately. Next we've got Endura Racer. I think this came out on a bunch of other consoles and whenever I talk about this game, people think I'm on about the other ports. They're wrong, it's this one I'm talking about. Fantasy Zone. I love this game. One of the greatest shmups ever created. Although a lot of people would say Fantasy 2 is better. That's their choice. If you want one that isn't a fucking shmup, you've got Fantasy Zone The Maze. I don't know why this exists. Funny thing is, it's not a bad game, but it shouldn't exist. This is the other game that's recently added to my collection. It's Fire Forget 2. I hope I forget about it, because it ain't that brilliant. But it ain't nothing compared to this fucking thing. If you've watched five minutes of anything I've ever done, you'll know why that sucks. I feel like I've got to wash my hands now in bleach. Then we got Game Ground. A lot of people love this thing. It's quite fun, but I'm not sure if the Master System one is as good as what people are saying. I should try it on something else before I give it a full verdict, to be fair. Galaxy Force. It's fun, but it looks like trash. <laughs> it's not brilliant. Here's a game that is awesome. Fucking Gauntlet. Gauntlet. So much better than what the NES pedaled out, I can tell you that much. This is also better than something that the NES pedaled out, but it doesn't matter, because it's infamously crap. Remember, we're covering some of the bad games first. Here's my only, literally my only, card game. See? Tab's broken as all hell on this. It's literally a card. See that? Whereas everything else is obviously a cartridge. So, die-hard Master System collectors want to get all of them. I will if I can find them, but I'm not too bothered. If I can get the cartridge one, to me, that's still the game. This is the tips, though. Ghouls and Ghosts, the Masters. I love this game. Done another great big video on that one. It's just... I know people praise the Mega Drive one, and they should. They should. But I like that one more. And next to that, the last one on this area is Global Defense, which is a, it's a weird little specimen of a shmup. It just is, it's a weird one. Anyway, we're now gonna move over to the bigger side of the collection. As you can see, I'm trying to rush through it so that this video isn't too long. Shut up, Tom, get over there. I'm having to stop this video in the middle because my mate Paul had appeared at the door with this as a prezi. I'm not gonna be able to unfold the entire thing. It's far too big. Basically, it's the Sonic the Hedgehog promotional poster from the cinema. A friend of his had acquired it and it's been passed on to me, which is great. I have no idea where I'm going to put this because it's fucking huge. So I think the only thing I can do, the only thing I can do is take down all the pictures of the children, but it's for a worthy cause. Anyway, on with the Master System games and thank you, Paul. Okay, here we are. On to the last section, but the far fucking bigger one. Oh, right. Ready, steady, go. Here we are. Fucking Global Gladiator. It's crap. Next one. G-Lock. Crap. Golden... <laughs> fuck. Crap. It's over a good one, I think. Hey, fuck me. Golden Axe Warrior. This is basically a Zelda clone. 
Many things it does, it does better than the original Zelda. Honest, honestly, it does do many things better. The music is not one of them. It's not bad. It's just dull. But a very good game. Unfortunately, uh, it's got an extreme price tag on it. Then we got Golf Mania. It's one of them sports games I've never played. I got it and it went on the shelf. Golvelius. Oh, good game. Action RPG. A lot like Zelda again. Fantastic. Well worth getting. After that, we got Great Baseball. Doesn't live up to the title. Then we got Great Golf. You know what? I've played this when I was drunk off my nut. It's, uh, it's crap. Just this. And we got, uh, I can't even read that. The fuck are you? GP Rider, maybe? Nah. Wants to be Road Rash, but it isn't. Then we got Heavyweight Champ. Didn't like it. Then we got a game I can't play because I don't know how because I'm very stupid. You ever played Dungeons and Dragons? This this is Dungeons and Dragons and Master System. I don't, I don't know how to play it. Then you got Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. Although someone got very lazy and it's called Indy. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not brilliant. Then we got a game that's absolutely daft as fuck. I was very close to doing a big video on this one just because it's, it's stupid. Uh, 007, James Bond, no one cares. Speaking of Bond, how about a Pond? It's James Pond 2 Robocod. Just so you know, I don't believe there's a James Pond 1 on Master System. We just got the sequel for some fucking reason. Jungle Book! Jungle Book! Don't need it in your life, you don't. Here's the weird thing though, Jurassic Park. This is actually really good. Yeah, the Mega Drive one ain't. Snez, I've not a clue. This is actually really fun. Well worth getting. Here's a game I got at Comic-Con once. Clax. It's a strange puzzle game. It reminds me of Karushi and weird Jenga blocks of different colors. It's kind of fun if you like puzzle games. Next to that, Land of Illusion, Mickey Mouse. Great game. Is it as good as the last Mickey Mouse one we mentioned? I oh, will let the public decide on that. Then we got Lemmings, which Lemmings is an acquired taste. Let's leave it at that. We got Lion King. I don't know when this video will come out, but there's a high chance it will come out after I do my big Lion King video. So I've covered this a little, only a little though. Then we got Line of Fire, a game I have covered. Uh, <laughs> it's all right. It's it's a quick play though because you'll be dead as shit very soon. Then you got Lord of the Sword. Which will leave you pretty bored, unfortunately. Then you got Lucky... <sighs> a lot of people love this game. I don't. This is one of the first games I ever had as a kid. Visually looks stunning. Sound-wise, sounds stunning. Yeah, it's great in all of its rappery goodness, but something about it pisses me off. Next to that, you got Marble Madness. If you haven't played Marble Madness, I'm not going to waste my time explaining it to you. It's fucking Marble Madness. Then you've got your light gun games, two in one here. Markman shooting, trap... No, it's three in one, sorry. Marksman shooting, trap shooting, and safari hunt. There are other combo cartridges like this for the Master System. This is the only one I own at the moment. I will change that. This is Sega's answer to Castlevania in the early days. Master of Darkness. It's pretty good, but it's not as good... That's another game I'm going to mention later on. Next, we got Master Games 1. It's literally Monaco GP, Columns, and World Soccer all in one. I only ever play Columns on it, so it's useless for that. Mercs! We've got fucking Mercs. You know what the funny thing is? This is better than the Mega Drive one. Doesn't look as nice, obviously, but it plays a lot better. Then we've got Micro Machines. This kicks the NES one's ass. Next, behold, Miracle Warriors. <laughs> great RPG, truly great. If you're gonna get Master System but you don't want loads of games, you just want a few, that's one of the ones to get, straight away. Where the fuck were we? Monopoly, it's Monopoly. Montezuma's Revenge. I had the hardest time getting hold of this fucking thing. I had it on Game Boy as a kid, found out it was on Master System, thought, I love the Game Boy one, I have to have the Master System one. It's a fucking good game, it is. Want another fucking good game but it's not that fucking good on this fucking system? Mortal Kombat. It's not, it's not brilliant. This one's much better though, Mortal Kombat 2. They got it right in this one. There they tried, here they succeeded. Would you like to know where they fucked up? 
will come back free. This is one of the rare Holy Grail games on the Master System. Is it the rarest of them Holy Grail ones? I don't know. I would go ahead and say no. This is a tech toy game. So on the side there it says tech toy. Tech toy. Only made in Brazil. Wasn't made anywhere else. That's why it's rare. Only one country had it, basically. Then you got Miss Pac-Man. It's Miss Pac-Man. Then you got the New Zealand story. A lot of people grew up with the NES one, which is a great game. It is. This one looks better, sounds better, is harder. Just realised the camera might be shaking a little bit. I apologise for that. I'm having some technical problems today. Sod's law, isn't it, really? Never mind. Next one is The Ninja. Has anyone out there read Ready Player 2 yet? No? All I have to say is stuff related to the book, so maybe I should shut up. Ninja fucking Gaiden. Did you know there's a Master System one? If so, five points to you. If you didn't, then you've obviously fucked up in your life. Go out and buy it. Next we got Outrun. I love this one. This is the best Outrun, in my opinion. All the sequels just always lacked something. Here we have Olympic Gold. It's a sports game. It's going back on the shelf. Here we have the Otterfans. I don't know why, but I spent a long time hunting for this game. Wasn't worth it. Now. Well, Enough said. After that, we've got Pac-Mania. It's Pac-Mania. Then we got Parlor Games. It's exactly what you see on the front cover. Then you've got Penguin Land. Now this one, it's a puzzle game again where you've got to basically push your egg along, uh, try and avoid obstacles and stuff. It's good fun. It's tricky. You're not going to get it right away, I don't think. <laughs> Here's Pit Fighter. Yeah, there's a Master System one. It's, yep. Oh. Oh. Fantasy Star. One of the best RPGs ever made. Don't fucking argue with me, alright? Don't you dare. Populous! Don't know how to play it. Got a sodding Bible for a booklet, though. Then you got Predator 2. Alright? <laughs> then you've got. Then you've got Prince of Persia. I'm not very good at that. Fact, I'm fucking awful. Here you got pro wrestling. It's infamous for its artwork because it's fucking stupid. It's a guy holding his own severed head. It's wrestling. Why is it? Why? Why? Nothing makes sense. Here's another game I spent a very long time trying to get hold of a good copy. Psychic World. It looks good. It sounds good. It's tricky though. Here's a game I spent a long time trying to get hold of because everyone rants and raves about it. It's that uh, Psycho Fox. I'm not a huge fan. Have you got some time you need to dick away and you've only got a little bit of that time so you want to play a game that's stupid? Uh, it's putt and putter. It's miniature golf. Yeah, that's that. R-Type. You gotta, you gotta love R-Type. If you don't love R-Type, go away. Rainbow Islands. It's the sequel to Bubble Bobble, even though it should just be called Bubble Bobble 2, but it's not because it's fucking stupid. Rambo 3 what it is. Rampage is Rampage. It is what it is. Rampart. It's like a tabletop game, but it's a video game version of it. I, I, yeah. Here's a very famous Master System game. Rastan. Conan the Barbarian platform where you slash the shit out of stuff. There's a racing game. That's, yeah. Next. Rescue Mission. I haven't played this in a while. This is a light gun game, isn't it? I want to say that's a light gun game, but I'm having a bit of a brain fart. Here we got two games I'm going to grab as once because I'm having to grab them right next to the camera, so I apologise for getting a very good close-up on my tattoo. Road Rash is phenomenally close in quality to the Mega Drive one. You would be shocked at how close in quality it is to the Mega Drive. The music's very different because it can't do Mega Drive sounds the master system, but this is fucking good game. Fucking good game. And then we got <laughs> Robocop versus Terminator. Not as good as the Mega Drive one. Still a fantastic game. And if you want to get master system games, that one's not too pricey. We're down on the bottom shelf now at long last as I'm trying to race through everything. This is killing me. I feel a lot like it's a running battle. <laughs> ah, ah, sorry. It's a good game. 
It is, it's a good game. It's well worth trying. Do you like your shmups? You want a shmup? It's been too long since you had a shmup. Here's a sagaya. It's pretty good, I have to say. It's a very good shmup. Here's a game that's very, very, very no. Secret Command. The only secret is that it's phenomenally bad. And even then, it's not really a secret. This next game is Sega Chess. It's fucking chess, isn't it? There we go. Sega World Tournament Golf. Don't like it. Then we got, fuck me, Sensible Soccer. You would be more sensible if you didn't play soccer. Here is the game I sort of pre-mentioned earlier. This is not Sega's, but it is an answer to Castlevania on the Master System. This is a custom made game by, I don't know who, because it doesn't say on the back. So well done to those fucking people. Genius. Doesn't say. Says when you play the game, which I'm obviously not doing now. This is Silver Valley. I thought about doing a Let's Play on this. Um, it's a fantastic game. Fantastic Castlevania-like clone. I could big it up all day long. It's worth trying, but it's not cheap because it's a new game. When it comes to these new custom cart games that you can get a lot for on the Mega Drive and a few on the Master System, they ain't cheap, which is a shame. But then again, if people are gonna go to the effort to put them on old cartridges and make them look that good, yeah, I can kind of understand. It's not gonna be cheap, is it? Shadow of the Beast. Effing, effing terrible. But it's not as bad as the Mega Drive one. Here's a game I've dicked away a lot of hours on. Shanghai. Shanghai is essentially Mahjong Solitaire. It's a great game if you just want to piss away some time. I, this is one of them games where if I need to chill the fuck out, this is a great game to play for that. Um, you need to know the rules of Mahjong Solitaire, but it's a piece of piss. It's basically pairs. You know, match the pairs. So like that. Um, then we got Shinobi. A lot of Master System collectors out there love this game. I'm not a big fan. It's all right. It's not shit. It's definitely not shit. But I can't see the huge appeal everyone has. Here we have Shooting Gallery. It's a light gun game. Well, I think it's on that multi cart we mentioned earlier. There's The Simpsons. It's just as bad as the NES one. All right. And here we have the greatest, don't argue, we have the greatest Sonic game ever made. Sonic the Hedgehog on the Master System. No, it's not a rip-off of the Mega Drive one. It is its own game. And it's wonderful. Guess what, though? Guess what? Guess what? Have you guessed? You probably did. Sonic 2 is a lot like the first one there. It's a very good game. There's a bit with a glider, as you can tell from the cover. I can't fly the fucking glider for shit. I cannot operate the bastard. Next one is Sonic Chaos. Great game. They've changed the visuals superbly. You can play as Tails in this one as my daughter's favourite Sega game. Next, we have one of the rare, rare tech toy games. Sonic Spinball, the Master System version. Um, I think, I think, I might be wrong here. Sonic Spinball was on the Game Gear originally. Tech Toy ripped it off and then they've literally gone, eh, 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 eh. that's that. It's like a Game Gear game, I believe. It's rare as shit. Is it one of the rarest Tech Toy ones? I don't know, couldn't comment. Here we have Space Gun. Now I believe, I believe there are two versions of Space Gun. There's one that takes the control stick and then there's one that takes the light gun. And I don't think, I think the light gun one is rarer and more expensive. And the one without is much more common and doesn't play as good because the moving of the crosshairs is a bit poorly done. And we got Space Harrier. I fucking hate that game. Absolutely terrible. Then we've got Special Criminal Investigation, which is poo. So there's that. Then you've got Speedball. Would you like to know something very weird? Can't remember it. I can't remember that one. But in all fairness, out of the whole collection we've done today, I think that's like only the second or third game out of everything I own Master Systemized, I can't remember. So that's not too bad. Spider-Man. Spider-Wank. It's shit. So there's that. Then we have Sports Pad Football. You need to have the special ball controller to make this work. And my controller is buggered. So I can't even play that properly. Not that I would, because it's sports. Then we've got Spy vs Spy. Also known as, if you're going against a computer, you've lost! Because that's how it works. 
two-player game or nothing at all with that fucking thing. Then you've got Star Wars. You ever played the NES one? This is exactly the same. Better colours in most places. It's got an easy mode. The easy mode, as far as I can tell, I think it gives you one more hit point. I think. I think. And there's no full damage. No. F so if you fall from a cliff in the NES one, you might die. In this, you won't. If you put it on the easier setting, which you should because the game's a bollock. Then we've got Streets of Rage on the Master System. This game is fantastic. Only one drawback. Only one. It's not two player. It really should be. That was a bit of a fuck up. Then we've got Strider. I don't like it. Alright, there you are. Strider. Yes, I'm disappointed too. I wanted there to be Streets of Rage too. There is a Master System one. I don't own it. Booger. Here we have a football game. Super shit off. So there, go away. Super Smash TV is something everyone rages about. I don't know why. Here we have Submarine Attack. It's a shmup with submarines and fishes and shit. And it's actually really good fun. Here's a game that's bullshit. Bullshit. Superman is bullshit. Is it bullshit on the level of the N64 one? Very few things are. That's still bad. Here we have Super Space Invaders. It's Space Invaders. That's what that is. Super Tennis. It's tennis. Here we got T2, the arcade machine. Am I looking at the right one? Yes, I am. You've probably played the Mega Drive one. Did you know there's a Master System one? Not many people do. It's actually really good. It really is. It's the sort of thing you'd have thought was made by a tech toy, but it ain't. This is actually really good, but it's quite hard to get hold of for some fucking reason. Uh, next we have T2 Terminator Judgment Day. This game, if you've ever seen uh, the SNES one, this is the SNES one. It's horrible. It's fucking horrible. Here's a fucking great game. Tasmania. Great game. Quite easy. It won't take you long to complete that one. It won't. Game that will take you long to complete, because it's bullshit. Teddy Boy. It's, it's one of them games that irritates the shit out of me. Now, I know you're going to think, why is this one after Terminator 2? It's a Terminator. Well, they're called T2, alphabetically, letter than number. Give me a break, right? This game is its own beast in the Terminator game world. It's fun. It's fucking hard. It, you will require practice to do that one. Would you like a game that's bullshit? I mean, like, generally bullshit to play? Tom and Jerry. What is it with kid games? Games that are aimed at kids being hugely bullshit. This is bullshit. You don't play this one. Here's a shmup that's fun to play, but it's boring quick. It's transport. It lacks imagination. Here's Trivial Pursuit. It's Trivial Pursuit. Here is Ultima 4. I don't know how to play Ultima anything, but I've heard it's good. Here's Vigilante. As you can see, my one is trashed. It's just trashed. Look, look at the cartridge. I, I need to replace this one. That's bad. That's fucking bad. I got it cheap from somewhere. I thought, yeah, I'll have it. Absolutely horrific. And what's funny is the game it's next to is sealed. I've never played this one, so I have no knowledge of it. I played the Mega CD one. I've not played this one because it's sealed, and I haven't the heart to open it. Wolf Child. Still in the sealed plastic. At least I think it's the original sealed plastic and not some fake shit. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Very tempted to open it. But I think, you know, several angels will die. Next, we have one of the games I grew up with as a kid. Wonder Boy. Great game. Bit long. Bit repetitive. But they fixed that in the sequel. This is an awesome game. I haven't completed that one, unfortunately. I have completed this one. This one is voted as one of the best on the system. It's also been remade for the Nintendo Switch, PS4, and probably the other one, the Xbox, or whatever the fuck it's called. Great game. Try the remake. If you want to try it, try the remake. That's my advice. Um, Wonder Boy in Monster World. I love this. I was very pleasantly surprised with the quality on that one. Here we have World Cup 93. No one gives a fuck. Here we have World Games. Yeah, no one cares. Next to that, we got World Grand Prix. No one cares. Oh, but to make it even more the same, it's soccer. Then we got a weird one. We got Xenon. Right? Is it Xenon 2? It is Xenon 2. And here is also Xenon 2. It's different artwork. But it's the same game, I assure you. Exactly the same. Two loads of artwork. Don't know why. 
Next we have one of the super rares again. It's a tech toy game. I don't know if I can say it without reading it. Sapo Zul SOS Igawo I think it from what I remember, I think it's Astro Warrior. A game I don't own, funnily enough. Um, and they've just changed the colour schemes and the sprites and shit. It's it's a strange one. Again, don't know how rare it is in the Tech Toy universe. Next to that is a fantastic Master System game. Eve. How do you pronounce it? Eve. I think it's Eve. I don't know, but that's a great RPG, well worth getting. Weird one. Zool. It's strange. It, it's a platformer. It's strange. It's colourful. It's good if you can get a deal. The last game I own. Zillion. I haven't completed it, simply due to lack of time, but it does look very awesome. That's it. I think I've gone through the fucking lot. So there you have it. That was the Master System Collection and some other crap. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click like, leave, comment, subscribe if you haven't. And if you have, find someone else who hasn't subscribed and make them subscribe. And if you can't make them subscribe, what do you think guns are for? Point it at them, they subscribe. That's how it's done. That's probably not something I should say on YouTube. Luckily for me, I don't fucking care. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.